There are a ton of things colliding that give us quite a clear picture on Vega, both literally and figuratively. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before you get started, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell to get notifications. It honestly helps the channel out by making the channel look better to hardware manufacturers and give them more of an incentive to send parts for review. Speaking of, I will have some reviews coming pretty soon, so definitely make sure to check those out. Okay, so on to the news. Hard OCP apparently got his hands on a copy of Vega through a Zeus. Unfortunately, it looks nothing like the models people came up with, nor the leaked white version, though that's more than likely a special model. The sad part is that, at least to me, it doesn't look anything like the Frontier Edition either, minus the bigger blower style. But there's no sexy looking R in the corner with the LED, no nice matte single color across it, just nothing really all that special in my opinion. It looks just like older reference cards, but just bigger. At first I thought it was just an engineering sample and not really indicative of the final retail version. Though of course there was an Alienware Area 51 preview that did show pretty much the same card. Unfortunately, I was half right. According to video cards, who quoted hard OCP, though I can't find it in their forums or in the article, so it may have been removed. Either way, he stated it was told to them by AMD that it's at least representative of the final product. If this is true, to me it's just a little disheartening considering some mock-ups looked amazing. Obviously, looks are very subjective and plenty of users don't care about aesthetics at all, which is honestly understandable. Unfortunately though, the bad news doesn't stop at looks. Apparently AMD also wanted hard OCP to pit Vega up against the 1080 non-TI version. With that said, they actually chose to pit it against the 1080 Ti, and the results were pretty interesting. Like the other events held by AMD, they aren't showing any FPS counters, etc. Instead, they merely let the players get a feel for the experience to compare without knowing which system was which. Ultimately, they saw very little difference, with one actually touting the second, which was AMD's, as far better. Here's the thing though. I'm not sure if you remember the recent Budapest event that I went over, but AMD made it pretty clear not to discuss the car's pricing and instead compare the pricing of the systems as a whole, making a point that G-Sync is more expensive. In that video, they discussed the difference in price to be $300. They discussed the same thing here, though the difference in price between the two displays is actually $600. They do say it's supposed to be around $300, so I don't really know what's going on here. Is it supposed to be $300, or is the difference really $600, and the total difference between the two systems is $300? I mean, I don't think Vega would be $300 more expensive than the 1080, but I don't know. Maybe the difference is just $300, and the difference in monitors was meant to be $300. So it makes Vega cost the same? I I'm really not sure. I don't want to draw too many conclusions, but basically, with the continued focus and price being between the two monitors, it's probably safe to say Vega won't be much cheaper, if at all, than Nvidia's offerings. Lastly, on the performance side of things, we have about as official of benchmarks as we can get without having the cards in our hands. Video cards came across some 3 d Mark Firestrike benchmarks, and the username who did them was the Game Technician, which is AMD's technical marketing specialist. Basically, these are almost certainly quite indicative of the final performance of Vega, so how well did it do? Well, they're about what we've seen so far, right at a little higher than stock 1080 performance, but a little lower than higher performing third party 1080s, and quite a bit lower than the TI version. Of course, price to performance could be a great thing for AMD. The only issue is the power concerns. Between remarks from MSI's marketing director to the pretty clearly dual connector GPU in the Alienware Area 51 preview, it's pretty obvious this card will be quite power hungry. With that said, it still could be a good buy when it comes to price to performance, but a higher power draw is an unfortunate negative that simply seems to make Vega lose some of its price to performance. With that said, AMD isn't 100% going to lose here. They certainly have an argument when comparing G-Sync and FreeSync, considering the former is still quite a bit more expensive. To top it off, they've also introduced a newer, lower latency alternative to V-Sync that seems pretty interesting. Basically, AMD does have arguments for their particular GPUs, but if performance is your only goal and price isn't a factor, it doesn't seem Vega will win in sheer specs. 
With all that said, this is just my opinion and Vega hasn't officially been released, so that opinion may change. But what do you think? Am I way off or is Vega going to have a pretty hard uphill battle? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.